Good afternoon, good night, and good morning to, to all the viewers internationally. Uh, again, I'm Roch Ruiz, uh, the founder and uh, basically one of the lecturer of Dental Marketing Philippines. I'm very excited, very happy to see you here. I'm also, again, very delighted that we have one of the one of the special guests because we have a foreign guest today to talk about this minimally invasive implant. So we're going to be introduced to a concept of implant magic core. So, but but before that, definitely, I uh, just like to welcome you uh, to Dental Marketing Philippines. Just join us, come, and you can ready. Uh, you can really get a lot of information from this free webinar. No need for registration. All you have to do is just type and like the dental marketing page and boom, you're there. So we're gonna learn a lot of things. As you know, we have uh, we have uh, listened to several several guests that we have. And, and uh, again, thank you very much for all the dentists who have given the opportunity to learn while we are suffering or while we are having this enhanced or actually extreme enhanced community quarantine. Uh, uh, now, uh, now that we know this morning that it will be extended to May 15. So we're going to give you more uh learnings so we're gonna give you restoration we're gonna give you cosmetics so watch out for that and we're gonna give you a lot of learnings uh during this pandemic so just just want to give you a brief overview of what we have and what we have done so we are dental marketing philippines and we basically give you tools social media website chatbots and we are also giving you lectures and seminars and uh, we can also provide you artificial intelligence for your dental practice so so much for that at uh, you just can just pm me anytime and i would just like to also give you a brief uh, overview of what we have discussed i discussed last march 28 and this is also available in in this page so dental marketing webinar what is marketing clinic is a business the three m's of practice management so again uh, as I always say you no know, there will always be three m's in practice management number one is your mastery your discipline so you have to have the skill you have, you have to be skilled in, in your particular discipline and you have to do marketing. And number three is management itself. When we talk about management, there's inventory management, there's people management, there's financial management, and a lot, lot more in terms of high uh, soft skills, hard skills. So this is also a form of management. So management is a full course in a college degree. So it, it really takes a lot of learnings and then, then we need to have a lot of presentation and lectures and also courses about management. So last April 7, we're also very fortunate that we're able to talk to the president of Philippine Medical, Philippine Dental Association. So uh, we're very thankful to Dr. Steve. And last uh, April 10, I discussed about the effect to your dental practice. Just to give you a brief overview of what's inside that particular lecture of mine, I discussed there that exposure disease, diseases of a dentist like you is 95% and physical proximity is 99%. So we really cannot uh, cannot uh, take for granted in terms of safety. We cannot forget all of the safety features that there will be additional equipment that we're going to purchase when we return to your dental practice after the enhanced community were lifted, uh, hopefully May 15. I discussed there about the recommendation. So I definitely recommend uh, that first phase, it is divided into three phases today. We learn to do marketing. We learn to do marketing plan for your 2021. Pag nag open yung clinic nyo next year, or probably after the effect of this pandemic, you have to have a lot of skills in terms of marketing. And there must be an enhancing of your skills. If you're cosmetic, dapat nakapakinig ka, nakawag webinar ka ng ibang, ibang cosmetic lectures. Kasi it is very important to really update your skills. On the second phase naman po, after malif na itong enhanced community quarantine, you have to think, you have to pray, you have to relax and get back to work slowly. Wag po kayo magmadali na nakitain agad yung kinikita nyo dati. No? So it will definitely take so much time. Then on the third phase, this is uh, very important that we have to have our mindset of a fresh graduate mentality wherein you are eager to work, but you are also open to several opportunities. No, Alam ko po maraming gastos, but uh, maraming dagdag na uh, panibagong equipment na kailangan bilhin. But uh, I also have, I will be coming up with another presentation on how to compute that properly. Kasi magkano na ba yung re-rate natin? Magkano na ba yung ch natin? So uh, this is another lecture that uh, hopefully will come up uh, very near, siguro May na po yan. And also we're able to discuss tele telemedicine with uh, the medical surgeon, the general and cancer surgeon, Dr. Luisito L. Ruiz. We're very excited and uh, very happy that uh, he was able to talk about. And Dr. Glispe, no? Talk about dental marketing. 
an alternative approach through traditional dental model using minimally invasive minimally invasive biomimetic restorative dentistry. So pinakita niyo po sa atin kung paano kumita ng mas marami kahit konting pasyente ang nakikita kaysa sa maraming pasyente na konti naman ang kinikita. So very interesting po yan. So uh, again, for those who are watching right now, so you can just share and invite people to see this presentation. This is a great presentation from directly from Korea. So we have a guest directly from Korea. Then we are also we're able to discuss the untold secrets of establishing a successful geriatric mobile dental program. Sinabi ko po sa trends of marketing for 2024, we're going to have a lot of of uh, patients na geriatric. So this is a great avenue for you to learn more about geriatric discipline. And uh, we also talk about bleaching. Tapos uh, last time po, Dr. Lillian and when we were able to reach 9,700 dentists, so probably 9,000 of those are dentists. So we're very excited. We're very happy that we're able to provide you more information on what the dentist can do to protect themselves and what do the and also their patients. So pinakita po ni Dr. Lilian on uh, yung mga protocol niya even before the pandemic, yan po yung ginagawa niya. So we are just really trying to uh, evaluate uh, 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 keep on with the regulations, with the protocols, with the ADA, FDA and even your of course your IITF and Philippine Dental Association. So they will be they are the one giving you these protocols that you need to have before doing the practice. And even PCOMS, no? Yung PCOMS po, Philippine College of Oxo, uh, Oral Max Maxillofacial Surgery, they are able to release out some protocols in their website and their Facebook page that you need high vacuum evacuator. So you need that for you to start practice, especially when you're doing uh, aerosols and surgery because there will be a return, no? And the cross-contamination is very rampant. Now, uh, this... April 27, I'm inviting you. No? So this is a faith, hope, and love. So we have to have a lot of faith. We have to have a lot of hope. We have to love each other, uh, especially during this pandemic. So I will be joined by Mr. Malvin Dalasan. He is the perfect start coach. We're trying to give you faith. We're going to give you because, you know, dentists are also human beings. No? We are also affected with this one. We are all suffering from maybe from anxiety because, you know, we don't know what's really happening. And we also have a topic called hope. This will be given by my friend, a customer service guy, will be able to teach you or really help you out that you have to be hopeful. So I hope that we can be able to inspire you with the faith, hope, and love uh, presentation this April 27. That's gonna be not 10 a.m. We're gonna uh, bring you at 6 p.m. also. And tonight, now we're very excited that tonight is gonna be a presentation for this minimally invasive and introduction to a uh, to Magic Corp. And uh, of course, I'm very excited because we're going to have one of our friends from Korea and he's right now there with us. So I would like to welcome Doc Mr. Ken. Mr. Ken Ko, how are you doing? Good afternoon, good evening in Korea. I think it's 7 p.m. How are you doing there? Yeah, I'm Ken. I'm working in IBS Implant. <laughs> I'm so honored to be here. And Thank you for giving me a chance to introduce MagicCore, which is minimally invasive implant. And I strongly believe this is a future implant. And yeah, <laughs> I'm doing great. And it's around 7 a.m. in Korea. And I know that it's 6 p.m. in Philippine. And I hope uh, you are doing great. I know yeah. it's hard to overcome the COVID-19, but yeah, let's overcome it. through so with the online, yeah, we can do it. So. Yeah. yeah, so let's start, again, yeah, let me start my presentation. Again, we're, we're very fortunate that uh, Mr. Ken is with us. Just to give you a brief overview before I allow Ken to take it away. So uh, IBS Implant, they are really the one which are encouraging us to uh, Academy of Minimally Invasive Implant. So I hope that there will be still this, this October 24, 25 in Seoul, Korea. And Mr. Kenko is the regional manager. So he's in the International Business Department of IBS in a biosearch in Korea. So without uh, further ado, I think uh, it's time for you to get ahead. Uh, take it away, Mr. Kenko. You can start doing your presentation. Okay, yeah, let's start presentation. Uh, first of all, thank you for coming here. And I'm so glad to be here with you. And I'm gonna start my presentation.
And can you see the my PPT? Yes, yes, yes. So we can see it clearly. Go ahead. You can start okay. with your presentation. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, I'm going to introduce MatchCore, which is minimally invasive implant. We call this future implant because the patient don't get the pain compared to other implant because it has, you know, unique design. You know, other implant just copy the, uh, you know, Nobel BioCare and Strauman and other leading implant, but we have a unique design and we are strongly believe that uh, this with the, this match core, the patient don't get a pain. And you know, it has a less chair time. And with match core, early loading and immediate loading is possible because the inter thread bone are not damaged. So yeah, let me uh, move on to the next slide. And first of all, I'm gonna briefly introduce IBS implant at match core. And secondly, I'm gonna explain why you should choose MedCore. And next, Army. Army is our educational institute. You know, as we have the unique design, you have to use MedCore with new protocol. It's different from other uh, method. So, so Army tells you how to use MedCore. And lastly, I'm gonna explain about details about contract and plans for partner. So, but however, we have a partners, uh, Mr. Roche, so I'm gonna skip this part. Yeah, first of all, IBIS S implant is established in 2008 and we were producing only bone level implant, which is called Magic FC. And suddenly, you know, a CEO of our IBS implant realized that bone level implant has many problems, such as screw loosening and recession of gingiva and bone resorption. So he he invented MagCore. And we are in this period. Honestly, we couldn't expand to the Southeast Asia market because we are not that big enough, honestly. But we were concentrated on the research and development and in USA and Europe, we was focusing on that market. And we, we successfully introduced MedCore into USA and Europe. However, we couldn't extend to the Southeast Asia, but from this year, we have a subsidiary in Vietnam and we have, you know, potential power. So we started to expand in Southeast Asia as well. So that's why I, you know, I want to introduce MedCore in the Philippines as well. So as you can see in the slide, there's a world top that doctors. And this doctor is in USA and she is in USA too, and she is a user of MedCore. And at the bottom, this is our CEO, Dr. Jaewon Wang, and he invented MedCore. And you know, with the MedCore, yeah, you can be the one of world's top doctors. So I want to uh, show this slide. And as you can see in the left side, Brunemak, Strauman, Astra, they have unique design. And except this company, all of them, except just a few, all of them just copy this, uh, you know, big implant company. However, MedCore has a unique design. It has long thread, and it has a thin thread as well. So inter-thread bone are not, not damaged by uh, when you place in the match core, I'm going to explain why this, the, this kind of things happen. And, you know, it's now, now it's the time of the match core. And this is most important part of our, my presentation. From this to this part is called magic fin thread. Magic fin thread has unique design and optimized ratio titanium and bone. So when you place MagCore, 
it doesn't damage the interstrat bone. The stab stability is scared by morphology contact, not by pushing the bone and damaging the bone. Almost every implant has a triangular shape of thread, and it pushes the bone and damage the bone while they are uh, getting a uh, stability. But however, since magical fin thread is thin and long, it doesn't hurt the bone. It just cuts the bone, not pushing the bone and damaging the bone. So, you know, the connection between the bone and the fixture will be secured by morphological contact, like Lego. So after placing mage core, there is almost no pain after surgery. And since interstrat bone are not damaged, you can place mage core in narrow, narrow alveolar leach. And of course, early loading and immediate loading is possible because insert thread will not, not, not damage. And it has a cuff part. It's similar like a ITI implant, tissue lab implant, but it's difficult, uh, different. It has a you know, unique angle. So when you place magic core, connective tissue adhere to this part. And it, uh, this part in, is not damaged, it's not bothered by the other process, like when you do uh, inflation copying or connect abutment to the fixture, this part are not damaged. So detachment will not happen. You know, suppose that you have a sticker. And in case of bone level, you know, doing the, when you do impression copying or connect abutment to the fixture, this part will be detached because it doesn't have this cup part just from here to here. They don't have this part. So this part will be damaged and bothered by the other process. However, in case of match core, after placing a match core, this part it's not bothered and it's not damaged. So the connection between connective tissue and fixture will be more stronger, not weaker. And this part is called magic post. Since, since it has an external connection and internal connection as well, the connection between abutment and fixture will be more stronger. So you can do you know, loss of selection of prosthetic part as well. This is conventional triangular shape of thread. Almost every implant has triangular shape of thread. So the fixation is secured by pushing the bone and the fixation concept. So interthread bone are damaged and it need more leach to secure the stability. However, match core has rectangular shape and it's so thin and it doesn't push the bone and it, it just cuts the bony side and stability can be secured by morphology contact. So uh, for example, if a patient has just five millimeter of leech, you can place 4.5 diameter of the match core. You just needed extra 0.5 millimeter. But however, in case of conventional implant, you need at least 1.5 or 2 millimeter. And match core has a narrow core body. At this, this make enable to place in the narrow leech because match core has a narrow core body. As you can see, the thread is looks like aggressive, and it has a you know narrow core body. 
so you can place match core in Nello Leach. As I told you before, conventional triangular set scarce fixation concept and stress distribution is not distributed to the all part, just the upper part. So this part will be damaged and screw loosening and flexure of fixture will occur. However, match core stability is scared by morphology contact. So stress distribution distribute to the all part of the fixture. So inter thread bone are not damaged compared to this part. It's not damaged at all. And I'm going to explain a process of conventional bone level implant. When you place the fixture, you have to put healing abutment or implantation coping. So what happened? This connection will be detached. Connection between uh, connective tissue and fixture will be a weak. So circles will be occurs like this. And after impression coping, you have to put abutment. So detachment will be happen again. And after that, circus will be go download. And this is called on the close. With the biology with it, junction afterium and connective tissues will be gonna you know try to adhere to this part. But detachment happen a lot. So it cannot adhere to this part. So it will be connected to fixture part or downer part of the abutment. So circus will be more larger. That means when infections go into this part, it will be you know making things worse. Infection goes into this part. Although you brush your teeth like this, the infection is not going away. So Pedal implantis happens. And after one or two years, infection will be going to the inner side, inner part of the fixture. Yeah, and that will make more things more uh, worse. However, with match core, after placing the match core, since match core has cuff part and post part, connective tissue adhere to, to the cuff. And what happened? Connective tissue and the uh, abutment, uh, cuff, will be more stronger. Connection will be more stronger. Why? When you do impression cupping or put abutment, this part will not get bothered. So the connection will be more stronger. That means, also, stability will be increased by the connective tissues. Now, after placing the prosthetic part, circus will be occur like this. Circus always occurs like natural teeth. But location of circus is between clown and connective tissue. And this is called on -gloss. You know, circus of the conventional implant will locate it between the abutment and connective tissues. So infection will not go away by just brushing your teeth. And this circus will be, you know, much more larger. When times go on, this circus will be much more larger. However, in case of match core, circus will be occurs this part. Location is between clown and connective tissues. So even if infection go into the, this part, 
it can be washed away by brushing your teeth. So with Magicor, you can maintain healthy periodontal condition like natural teeth. And with this Magicor, there is no gingival recession or uh, even if infection will occur, it will go away directly. And I'm gonna show you a little uh, short videos. Technological advancements in the medical field and devices have enabled us to change the direction of surgery from invasive procedures, which leave large scars, to minimally invasive concepts, thereby reducing damage and pain to the patient, as well as increasing healing speed and recuperation. However, in the dental implant treatment field, procedures are still being done with the flap being open with a large incision, giving immense damage to the patient. Since the year 2003, IBS Implant has researched and developed an implant system with the concept of minimal invasiveness as the focus. Currently, the IBS Implant system is being widely used and is showing successful results both clinically and scientifically. While conventional implants secure stability by fixation, the stability by morphologic contact of the Magicor implant preserves live bone, which makes early loading possible. Of the Magicor implant preserves live bone. As you can see in the videos, before placing a Magicor, you gotta make the pass of the Magicor first with the magic tapping. So, pass will be made by the magic tap deal, and this pass will be just followed by the magic core. And this is concept of morphologic contact. Conventional implant damage the interthread bone by pushing the bone into thread bone, and fixation will be occurs. But however, magic core doesn't damage the interthread bone. And that's the main point. Which makes early loading possible. While conventional implants require a minimum surrounding bone width of 2 millimeters, the magic core of IBS implant only requires 0.5 millimeters of surrounding bone to be successfully implanted, even without grafting. Stress distribution of the magic millimeters of surrounding bone to be successful. And in a narrow leech with a magic core, you don't have to you know expand the cortical bone or do bone grafting because it's optimized implant for narrow leech. You know, it just need 0 0.5 millimeter larger leech than the diameter of the fixtures because it doesn't damage the interthread bone, so that's possible. And this is main advantage of using Magicor. You can use Magicor in narrow leech without doing a bone grafting and expanding the bone. even without grafting. The thread design of the Magicor allows a 9 to 1 bone to titanium ratio, which minimizes the differences of rigidity and flexibility between bone and titanium, giving the Magicor implant an advantage in stress distribution and minimizes chances for microfractures. With conventional implant systems, bone grafting is needed in many cases, but with the Magicor's various selection of coverings and a shape that enables placement depth adjustments, Successful implantation is possible by selecting from a variety of implant sizes. And we have various sizes of cuff, so you can use many sizes of cuff according to the bone condition and gingiva condition of the patient. If a patient has a narrow uh, gingiva, you can use 
uh, narrow uh, you know source sizes of cuff and you know in case of like this we don't need any bone grafting if you use large larger sizes of cuff you can place the implant without bone grafting and this is main advantage of MedCore. ITI implant has a uh, neck neck but it has just two sizes 1.8 and 2.8 but we have three two three four five sizes of cuff so you can adjust that to according to the patient Put the varying shapes and sizes in each case is bone shape upon removal of the healing abutment soft tissue becomes damaged and both the wound and implant are infiltrated by bacteria if the soft tissue is repeatedly disturbed, the junctional epithelium migrates downward, resulting in loss of connective tissue mass. Because the gingiva is damaged, undergrowth occurs. The reaction of the body of marginal bone resorption in order to regain the lost connective tissue. On growth. And in case of conventional implant, circus will be located between abutment and connective tissue. So circus will be located, uh, since the circus will be located between abutment and connective tissues, infection will be going to this part. A reaction resulting from healthy periodontal conditions. The bacteria between the fixture and the abutment multiply. However, this part is not bothered when you do impression copying or connect abutment to the fixture, this part will not bother because we have cup part and post part as well. So circus will be occurs here, not in the downer part. Resulting in peri-implantitis. The inner attachment surface of the crown and the innovative outer structure of the core crown is simultaneously attached to the implant, enabling fabrication of a widened occlusal surface with anti-rotation and seamlessly prevents prosthetic detachment that may occur from vertical and horizontal forces. Bone quality is diagnosed using the magic splint. Drilling is performed using the pin drill. Guide pin is inserted. CT is taken to confirm the path and implantation location. And with using guide pin, you can check the bone inside and the gingiva condition. When you take a CT with the guard pin, you can exactly diagnose of the uh, bone condition and gingiva condition of patient. Engage the magic drill onto the guide pin and drill up to five millimeters and remove the guide pin. And this is called magic drill. Since it has a hole in the center, the pressure will be distributed to the other part. The pressure will not concentrate on the center. So interthread bone are not much damage when you drilling, when you do drilling. Drill using the magic drill to find desired depth. the bone core using the spoon excavator. Remove any leftover bone from the floor using the depth drill. Insert the magic pin into the prepared implant bed. Remove the magic pin body. Engage the magic tap drill onto the magic pin guide and drill slowly, less than 20 rotations per minute. Reverse drill to remove the magic tap. And with the magic tap drill, the path of the magic core will be made by the magic tap drill. Then 
and remove the magic pin guide. Place the implant by hand, noticing that the magic core spin thread matches and follows through the created tap within the wall of the hole. Place implant to desired depth using the torque ratchet. So the magic core can follow the path uh, which is made it by the magic tap drill. So, you know, in the thread bone are not damaged. You know, it's like a concept of Lego. It just, you know, fit to the path made by magic tap drill. And this is a uh, cases using by a magic core. You know, uh, one of the that KOL in Vietnam use magic core. And you can see this is a guide pin. So when you place guide pin, you know, it teaches the direction of the putting the implant and the tap with the tap drill. You can you don't have to worry about going to long direction. So let's look at the condition of the one week after surgery. You can see that it has a hole in here and it looks like a gingival condition is not that good. But after one month, it will be getting better. And after three months, gingiva sealed the cough part strongly. And as times go on, this connection will be more stronger. So you can use magic core, uh, you know, magic core uh, many years by this uh, logic. And I want to show you that uh, difference between the bone condition. This is same patient. And after placing a magic core, you know, bone condition was not that good. But as times go on, bone condition will be much more greater, much more better. So let's look at the gingival condition as well. Uh, immediately after placing a magic core and temporary clown, gingival recession was not that good. However, uh, connective tissues likes to adhere to the cup part. So after four months later, you know, this margin, gingival margin will go up like this. And after one month, you know, gingival margin will be more uh, upper. So you can, pl uh, you can use magic core as long as possible because bone and the gingiva will be get better. And since we have a new protocol, so you have to learn how to use magic core. And Academy of Minimally Invasive Implantology will teach you how to use magic core. So if you are interested in magic core, uh, just make a contact with uh, Mr. Lotte or me. So you can, you know, come to our educational course. And this course was held in January. And after receiving this kind of educational course, you are gonna, you're gonna go to your country. And after you're gonna go to your countries, I hope you to uh, held a seminar and educational program in your country. So you can share, share the information about your patient and your surgery as well. And if you participate in educational course, you have a chance to uh, participate in life surgery. 
and you have plenty of time to do hands-on as well. And from this year, we have a subsidy in Vietnam, so we can support you as much as I can. And, you know, we are uh, kind of different from other implant company. We are just focusing on implant. We are not selling other medical products. We are just concentrated on the implant. And this is very first time to cooperate with a popular university in Europe. So we are, you know, pushing lots of effort to R&D instead of doing, uh, making, making lots of product. We are just concentrated on the producing implant. And because of COVID-19, we cannot, you know, move and we have to, we are stuck in the home. So we have, you know, a lot of online problem. And KOL of uh, KOL, Dr. Ando in Vietnam will have a medical educational course this Sunday as well. So if you are interested, uh, just contact to the Mr. Loche or me so I can give you more information about that. And you can join this seminar just by, you know, clicking the link. It's easy. And Dr. Rondo will explain how to use MedCore. And if you are going to uh, deal, uh, become a dealer of IBS implant, we can support you to support seminar and educational program. And as I told you, we are doing lots of effort, are putting lots of effort to the research and development. And I need your cooperation as well. I want you, I want you to give me information about a dental market in Philippines as much as you can, so I can set a sterology according to that. And I need to partic participate in seminar, which is held in Korea or other countries, so I can support you more. Yeah, we have a major core dis discussion group in WhatsApp. So you can share the information about using MedCore. And if you are needed uh, advice, I can help you to which diameter of lens or lens to use in the certain cases. So I'm available 24 seven. So when you have a problem or you know question about MedCore, do not hesitate to contact me, I will help you. And this is end of my presentation. And thank you for uh, listening my presentation. And Mr. Lutz, can you change the slide? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, we we do appreciate your presentation, Mr. Ken. Can you see me? Oh, wait, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see you. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, I think we have uh, reached several doctors, and we have had several questions here also. Uh, they were asking about, you know, you, you said that uh, you are inviting them to go to Korea so that they'll be able to really get to know the, the magic core. So mm -hmm. uh, how, when, how much, something like that. They, 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 are, they are asking that particular question. We are, we are excited to go. When, how much, uh, what are the participation? Okay, I see, I see. You know, it's kind of different, uh, different from countries to countries. Yeah. You know, if you cooperate with me well, I can, you know, produce, uh, reduce the prices. And however, it's around uh, $350 to participate to the educational course. However, things can be changed. Yeah. And for accommodation, we uh, support new hotel and food and every expense in Korea, we support you. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, how long? How long is the course? Uh, mm. If they go to Korea, how 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 many days? Like one day, two days for them to get to familiarize 
with the system and they're mm -hmm. gonna see live patients there right then after that they're gonna have a graduation for academy of Medical right. basic implant right mm -hmm. after uh, participating uh, three days of educational course you can get a certificate okay so three, days. three days three days okay three days. Also, I have several several questions. I'd like to show it to you, Mr. Ken. Would you like to read? I think you have made, mentioned this while doing presentation, but I would just like to reiterate this one. Can you mm -hmm. read the question? What's the advantage of MatchCore? Okay. Since uh, match core, with MatchCore, insert thread bone are not damaged, that means early loading and immediate loading is possible. So the doctors can save his time or her time. And as well, patient will, uh, you know, not get that pain compared to others. So yeah. patient will satisfy with that. So demand of the match core will, will be increased. And that's the main advantage. I think, I think there's also a difference in terms of the bone, bone grafting. This is also very important because you don't have to really damage so much of the bone and it will yeah, like, yeah. Lego, like like automatically will fit the 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 the, the, the bone right 0.25 yeah. compared to conventional which is one millimeter right yeah that's right and i know that i know that in just few cases bone grafting is needed necessary but with match core you know you don't have to put bone grafting you don't have to put bone grafting and the cost will be more reduced so the patient will be more satisfied with that but however just a few cases bone grafting is of course needed but we don't prefer to use bone grafting because we don't have to oh really so mm -hmm. nice nice so this is really a good system as, as mr dr dr pb said this is a really a good system we're supposed to try all of this in the philippines last time and also, we'd just like to say a uh, shout out to Dr. Adina Lagman, Dr. Carlos Tosan from Davao. It's a great case, and Dr. Marcel Garcia from Davao. So they said uh, they've tried it last time, no? And uh, also, I'd just like to make mention of uh, this particular question. I think you have seen this already, uh, but uh, I think this is a previous question that you've already answered. But can we learn more about your implant system in Korea? As Mr. Ken said, yes, yes, three days, right? Yeah, and if you want to travel Korea, yeah, I'm welcome, but you have to know that education course is first. And uh, compared to others, we have tight schedule. So you can be feel uh, kind of tired of learning. So you have to lots of things. But after that, you can enjoy travel in Korea. And if, yeah, if I have a time, yeah, I can, you know, introduce Korea as well. Wow, okay. after the education, after the education, education yeah. is the yeah, priority. So, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I'd just mm -hmm. like to say hi for those uh, our beloved doctors watching, Dr. Ann Camus Fadol. Thank you very much for watching again for supporting Dental Marketing Philippines and, and a very good doctors, a very good doctor. No, and Po Gipa, mm -hmm. Dr. Paolo Mark Bondad Mansano. Doc, kamusta? You're, you're doing good there. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Ken, another questions uh, pop in. I would just like to uh, basically, in terms of success rate, do you have a scientific studies? Yeah, I think you have invested a lot of uh, of budget in terms of research and development, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will answer this question. You know, we have a unique design and we have a new protocols. So after you uh, get uh, familiar with uh, using match core, I'm sure that you know failure rate will be much more lower. And there's this no uh, specific number. And I can say that it's you know, lower than three, lower than 3%. Wow. But, yeah, lower than 3%. But you know, if someone says this specific number, don't believe that. No one knows. No one knows this specific numbers. But I can guarantee you that Magic Core has, you know, almost five years of history. So we have lots of clinical cases, and as I told you, we are uh, putting lots of effort of R and D, and we are planning, you know, so special uh, research. So uh, it's great, but after the research comes out, I will let you know. 
I, I think I think also Dr. Felix Asoy from Cebu, uh, Cebu City. Thank you very much for watching. So we have discussed about the introduction to Magicord. This is a minimally invasive implant. So uh, as, as Mr. Ken always discussing, another question pop out. Uh, this is uh, another in terms of success rate. Yeah, yeah. I think you have uh, answered this one. And mm -hmm. this one, there's another question here. Yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, some some of the doctors text me or PM me. Uh, is this available in the Philippines or? I think we have overheard this last time, but uh, I don't know what happened then. Are you going to be available in Philippines? Uh, that means uh, when, when I can go or? <laughs> yeah, when you can go and basically when they can try or when they basically could arrange a trip to Korea so that they will be familiarized with, uh, oh, with the see. magic card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's a hard question because, you know, I cannot you know, expect the uh, COVID-19. But as soon as COVID-19 will be get better, I will go there as soon as possible. Yeah, then I we will, will go there, yeah. So then we, we go there. Mm -hmm. we'll be able to arrange some of oh, the doctors who would want to. Now, now th this is a common question by, you know, general dentistry. Can can they can they go to Korea and train, like like attend a course for, for three days? And when they get back to the Philippines, they have uh, familiarized with your system. Can they now do a case? Can I? Can they now uh, offer their implant uh, dentistry in their clinic? Oh yeah, of course. Why not? And you know, uh, there's uh, doctors in Thailand. It's Dr. Chung Pung, and Dr. Chung Pung participated a January course. And after taking a educational course, Dr. Chung Pung placed lots of med core. And so after that, yeah, you can place match core uh, as much as you can, and yeah. no problem. But if you have a problem of using match core, I can support uh, KOL in other countries to help you, and they can go to Philippines. Yeah. So this help. is, yeah, very that, that that's very, that's very good news for a Filipino dentist, uh, Mr. Ken, and also uh, uh, this was actually posted in the watch party that I have, uh, Dr. An. I am interested to know more about your product. Where can I read the papers or article? I think, uh, Dr. An, I think Mr. Ken would just be uh, sending me some of the articles, some of the papers through dental marketing, and probably I'll share it to you. I'll share mm -hmm. it to, uh, to, to to all the dentists. And also, meron pa pong utang yung dental marketing, Philippines, kasi hindi pa po natin napupost yung uh, questionnaire about the new protocol for yeah. COVID, for COVID patients. So watch out for that. I will be arranging that. I think I'm gonna post it tomorrow or the next day. I'm just going to fix it so that you can you can edit that. So again, do, uh, say hi to uh, to all the watchers. So Dr. Ken, yeah, you're you're gonna share it with me, right? The the yeah, article yeah. so that they can read. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I will send uh, to uh, Mr. Loche about information about Medcore. And yeah, Mr. Loche, please send them uh, the information about Medcore. Uh, there, there's another question here. Uh, mm -hmm. from uh, Dr. Felix. He's a good friend of mine from Cebu. Uh, he wanted to see the system again. Can, can, can we just, just go back a little bit of the slides or maybe you can just watch the replay, doctor. <laughs> no, can, can you just see, show me one of the, one, one of the okay. slides. So this is a minimally invasive implant, Dr. Felix. It's introduction to magic core. Magic core where you don't, it's, it's, it's really andalilang, but you know, I'm here to explain. But uh, I think we have uh, several slides here to show you. And uh, Dr. An, I'll be sending it to you. And also another, while we are looking for that particular system, uh, Mr. Ken, I'd like to show, no, well, actually, Mr. Ken, I'd like to uh, throw in another question. Hindi uh, makikita ni Mr. Ken to. Is this, but uh, for the dentist uh, benefit who's watching right now, Dr. Joy Cristobal, how are you there? You can uh, message us in Dental Marketing Philippines so that we can show it there. We can post it in the, in the live feed. Uh, it would be uh, better. Now, uh, is this, uh, well, actually, Mr. Ken, is this also contraindicated for smokers, diabetics, and boxers like that of conventional implants? Yeah, that's a very good question. So I think we'll uh, have Mr. Ken answer that. We'll wait for his connection. Again, uh, for those uh, dentists out there, we are basically dental, we are Dental Marketing Philippines, and I'm Mr. Rochi Ruiz. I'm inviting you to just uh, like the page. We'll be giving you more information on more lectures, more webinars for free. So we're basically doing this 
during this time of pandemic. And uh, we know for the fact that this has been extended to May, May, May 15th. So we're going to invite uh, good speakers, uh, talented speakers, young ones, and even old ones. So just to provide more information, just to provide more lectures for the dentists out there. Also, also uh, staying home and staying safe. I hope that you are healthy. I hope you are just enjoying time with your family at the same time, uh, learning about different discipline. Again, no one really are prepared for this. Even the other countries, even the U.S., are, this virus belittled them, belittled their healthcare system. So it's uh, it's really uh, a pandemic that no one really expects. So this is another very good question, but uh, I hope uh, that Mr. Ken will be back because we got out of the out of the the connection. No? So for for those doctors who are there, just let me know what topic you want to hear. What what uh, presentation would you like to 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 uh, dental marketing to host and uh, we'll try our best to give you one uh, It's really a time for us to share a time for us to really give an opportunity to present more discipline uh, About dentistry, but again, as I said, this is not only about dentistry. This is all about human nature That's why I would like to make mention again the the seminar or the presentation that we're going to have this April 27, this is a good one. I re rest assured that this is a good one. We're going to have a presentation by Dr. by Malvin Mal uh, Dinlasan. He's a perfect start coach. This is all about this is all about faith. And I will be joined by Mr. Ekon Malik. He's a customer service guy. So we are going to help you how to deliver a very good customer service once your clinic is open. And I'm going to be sharing about love. You know, this is not all about my experiences, but this is how you spread love during or even after the pandemic. I know for the fact that we are we have experienced this and it's not easy to be back in terms of your dental practice, but uh, by by sharing all of this information about uh, faith, hope, and love, we, we are going to have, uh, I think, uh, a very fruitful one. And I made mention also, I would just like to make mention, I just like to reiterate this program or this master rec project recommendation. First phase today, is all you have to do is just learn all about the discipline learn to enhance your 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 your, your mastery and you have to learn marketing no ang pag, pag po ng marketing if you are at your home you just get the uh, four piece no? eight piece na po yan extended but four piece and you have to also to get the toast analysis so we we'll start with the four piece so when you talk about four piece while we are waiting for mr ken to be back so when we talk about four P's, it's product. The second P is your place or your location. The second P is your uh, uh, price. So you should have a standard price, but price, we're going to have a different computation now or after the ACCQ. And the last P is your promotion. So there will be another promotion as part of marketing. So there will be four basic P's that you have to apply in your marketing plan. No, after this pandemic and even on the 2021. So January, December, you should plan. So by September, October, November, December, I think it is a must for you to stay connected with probably with dental marketing. I'll be showing you how to create a simple marketing plan and that will definitely help you in your business. Again, profession is your practice. Clinic is your business. Uh, Okay, uh, I think we're not going to see Mr. Ken again because nag brownout daw po sa Korea. So he just texted me that there is a brownout in Korea. But again, I just really would like to share with you the 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 first phase today during the pandemic is learn to do marketing, and enhance your discipline. Number two, after the ECQ, think, relax, pray, and get back to work slowly. And the uh, third one is the recovery period. Ito po. Uh, be patient and stay focused, have a fresh graduate mentality. And I would just like to make mention, this one is a very beautiful doctor. Thank you, Dental Marketing, for this God bless and more, God bless and more power. Thank you, Doctora. You know who you are, Dr. Rose. Uh, you're such a beautiful lady talaga. Uh, again, nawala tuloy ako sa presentation ko. You have to have face space today, first face, second after ECQ and recovery. So the recovery, recovery is be patient, stay focused. Don't get back to work immediately. Just, just, just have a sense of a fresh graduate mentality. So I think 
we're gonna wrap up this presentation. We're gonna share more presentation to you as we go along with uh, with uh, uh, as we go along with this pandemic. Uh, again, this is another reminders that dentists are exposed to diseases. It's ninety five percent according to New York Times, and physical proximity is ninety nine percent. Again, I will load, I will upload this video to my YouTube channel, and also you can see and you can watch a replay in Dental Marketing Philippines. So with that, uh, we cannot be able to get back to uh, to uh, Mr. Ken, but rest assured that I will be bringing IBS. I will be bringing you to Korea, Dr. Tay Bondok. Thank you very much, Dr. IBS Ainur. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. PB Adina Lagman, Dr. Carlos Tolosan, Dr. Marcel, Dr. Ann. Thank you very much for supporting on April 27, 6 p.m. See you, see you again. Maraming maraming salamat po. Bye-bye.